know what I thought with, with you saying, man, about this being a vehicle yeah. and going through the cosmos? Actually, if you think about it, the Earth is kind of a vehicle, right? With like billions of, of humans traveling mm -hmm. through space mm -hmm. all at the same time. Are we, I don't know if anyone knows, but are we going anywhere? Like, I know we're going somewhere, but like, <laughs> are we, <laughs> imagine, imagine if somebody created this planet and it Man's was just like... all this driving, you're asking if we're going. <laughs> let, let me just do a U-turn right now. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> but like, are we, are we... You know, this this Earth could be like a spaceship going somewhere that we don't even know. Or is that too deep for the show right now? <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean like actually is Earth moving towards something? Yeah, like imagine there's 7 billion people on one planet all traveling in space. But well, we don't know where we're going. Yeah. Well, if you look at it theoretically, the Earth orbits our our star yeah our sun yeah so do you mean where is it going after no because or? because the stars also orbiting something right the sun's not stationary the sun's moving through space we're moving through space so we're all traveling together the star is moving somewhere <laughs> i thought we were staying in one place all the time <laughs> that's news to me wow. <laughs> let me go visit the star quickly let's see where let's go take a look at over there <laughs> Right there. <laughs> so, uh, again, the science lesson. <laughs> That's really cool. So, any insights, Master, on where are we going? Are you, you mean where is Earth going or where yeah. is humans going? Yeah. Where's Earth going? Yeah, where are we going? We. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're, 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 we're driving you around by this now. car, you mean all the four of us, or you yeah. mean Earth? Well, first of all, the car, because we're not really, <laughs> we're going somewhere, <laughs> but like... <laughs> this, that, 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 that answer really depends on what Hassan stitches in the green screen. <laughs> <laughs> but also, the, just the, the planet, because it always got me thinking, like, all of us are on this planet, and we're, it's like, we are traveling through space. Like, imagine if we were actually traveling, like, <clears> somewhere <throat> that we didn't even know. But like in our but, universe or but, the planet? But we're always doing that. But we're safe because we're in this vehicle of uh, planet Earth, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so we're, we're, we're kind of safe until kind it's of safe. not safe. Yeah. What, what does that mean? But we're not safe in Earth because, either. Because as, as we're... <laughs> we're not safe in Earth. <laughs> because because as, as we're advancing, um, there's, there's a lot of changes happening in the next 20, 30 years to... Um, the system that we are, that we are, um, we can call stuck in or safe in right now, there's a lot of changes because um, it, we're moving into a new age right now. And so, so life will be very different, very, very different. I mean, yeah. if, if you think about space travel already being uh, in our conversation right now, which is people like the they're researching for us to be able to travel out there and 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 maybe like 20 years ago it was kind of like you know you tell an average human that they'll be like what are you talking about what's the point and it won't work so if you take another 20 30 years which we'll still all be here um we're gonna experience when people start going out to space is that they start finding so many new things like uh, species, dinosaurs, uh, aliens, you know, um, and so the way we live, the way we survive, the way when we enter into those realms, the different battles or uh, we can call it uh, uh, outer dimensional war even, um, because you're entering into other existence territory. So we're going to be adapting we're going to be like this it's going to be a it's going to be to totally different right now is moving from in spirituality we call it moving into a, a new age so mm -hmm. it's a it's a real big time you know so for for our viewers here master like what would you advise them how to prepare for the upcoming 20 30 years that is about to shift like how would you best uh, prepare this, for this you, you 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 don't you see if we go on to um Let's say even a lot of our spiritual practices, we say that um, you you don't need to uh, because you can you can listen to what was just said and then be scared and panic and, 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 and doubt and fear and all the rest of it. But it's not going to do anything. You know, um, we need to understand that, uh, number one, change is the only constant and that will always be forever evolving. 
and whenever we're moving into new territory then we just need to be strong as a as a human being or even as a spiritual uh, energy to be able to to be adaptable you know and i think that's i think that's the most important thing so a quick question mm. to do with so you know how we're talking about di dimensions we're talking about seeing different things mm. and how <clears throat> every night we go to different dimensions where we call it dream right mm. we experience different things and how most people actually don't remember everything that they do mm. um but you can remember a good amount of what you do right Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, last night, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> You're just wondering what I was doing in the Yeah, just, you know, interested, asking for a friend. <laughs> asking for a friend. friend. <laughs> so what was Master Shui doing last night? <laughs> we were doing multiple things because we were in multiple dimensions. So multiple things. So I have another question, sorry. <laughs> multiple <laughs> things. <laughs> 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 that question. <laughs> not that I'm not interested in what Master was doing last night in his dimensions. But, so, when you talk about going into different dimensions, how does that play when you talk about creating balance between the positive and the negative to keep human existence? Is that something that, like, is still in different dimensions or you really... That is the, that is the, com that's the commonality in existence. So, it doesn't matter which dimension you travel into, which which existence you're in, that is the commonality, positive and negative energies and balance. So it doesn't matter if you're a human or an alien, as long as you keep balance between positive and negative. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but our game is only positive, right? <laughs> we don't need to worry about balancing out the negative, negative. <laughs> Angela's got different, different plans. Well, yeah, but I'm Angela's trying, trying to figure out what, maybe I should help the negative side of it. <laughs> They're losing right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're losing right now, we're too strong. <laughs> No, no, no. It's just for me to understand how, because we always talk about, you know, playing for the positive side and how, you know, at the moment, how everything is shifted and how we need to help create balance. That's mm. my thought behind my, my question. Mm. You know, that question reminded me of, have you guys seen uh, Harry Potter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know when <laughs> oh, he, he, he was trying to find three yeses. <laughs> his, his question was not a no-brainer yes. <laughs> so has everyone here seen Harry Potter? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know when um what was it when Voldemort asks about like um the dark side and the and the positive side when he's younger. Yeah. Yeah. Just that. <laughs> That's the same. Just reminding me of that. <laughs> <laughs> so basically speaking, we will go eventually to. But, another dimension but all the all these movies are so 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 much real uh, have you have you not realized that the the more you dive into spirituality or these conversations the more you listen to this stuff the more you realize every movie you watch is real mm. like, have you seen the it's movie so soul? avatar and everything yeah soul soul Souls. is so relatable with like how simple your life purpose can be yeah. and we make it so difficult yeah it, it picks up very well actually yeah but Avatar is very good for um, understanding about what you going in this dimension, then dream dimension, and and this being, this is also a dream dimension. Like you, you're sleeping in another one, then you wake up in this one. <laughs> but then you sleep in this weird. one, then you wake up in another one. So people know? who so, are watching this are actually in a dream dimension right now. From what, so the people watching this video are in a dream dimension right now seeing this seeing this watching video. this in a dream dimension no. and then when they wake up in their their another existence that they exist in they will be like oh my god i had this dream but i can't remember it but that's when that p plug is pulled and because of how the game is designed it's you know Have and, you and, and, and and the reason why it's designed that way is is to is because it needs to keep us safe you know I mean, imagine we imagine if you all remembered your your dreams from last night. Like it would, some will be very tormenting. If if you knew it was real, yeah, some will be so tormenting you'll 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 get locked up, isn't it? Yeah, like when when you said before, Master, about having the plug being pulled. Have you ever had that feeling where the plug has been pulled for you? Like, have you ever experienced? We've all had that before. What do you mean? When you when you suddenly knock out. When you go to sleep. 
when you when you suddenly your energy is like <laughs> yeah when you suddenly you're like i don't know what i just feel really tired boom yeah, yeah. Uh, is uh, and also another thing as well have you have you ever had when in the morning like uh, maybe, maybe you got enough sleep like if you look at time you got enough sleep right but then you feel really really heavy and your mm. eyes are feeling really tired but you don't know why and it's like but i got enough sleep right mm. like and 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 then and then it could actually put you to sleep for another like two hours or three hours even and then you wake up you're like whoa i can't believe the time mm. right we all have that on the other side it i mean it's like okay 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 this is a good one right so <laughs> So, um, let's say, for example, if man was actually asleep now, right? And then in this dimension, imagine there was a fire. Okay. What would we do? We will leave the car. Well, you guys would probably leave me <laughs> and I'm to sleep, right? <laughs> you can enjoy that dimension. <laughs> I'm going to be out two hours space. No, just... <laughs> we, would, we would most likely go to wake him up. Then he will wake up. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo was first thinking we'll run, right? But, but, <laughs> he'll save himself. Right? But but most likely we'll wake him up and say, man, 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 there's a fire. Then he'll wake up, right? Now, what has happened to his spirit in a different dimension? Very simple. In the other dimension that he's existing in, suddenly you're like, oh, I really feel, I don't, I don't know, I don't, oh, sleep. Mm. Now the energy is transferred and it's woken up here. So, uh, like... Your energy is always in use. Energy is always moving. It's not gonna. It's not gonna stay still. It's always moving. It likes to move. So, um, when it's stagnant and and when it wants to suddenly go dormant here, it's because your energy needs to be used somewhere else. So it could be that there's trouble happening in a, di a different dimension, and they're calling you right now. They say, "Hey, there's a whoa! Wake up! Wake up!" You're like, "Whoa!" And then here you're like, "I don't know why I'm getting really, really oh, boom!" Mm -hmm. 